absolutely the quintessential parallel line standard question. How many transversals do you see? There are four, right? This line crosses two lines, this line crosses two lines, this line crosses two lines, and this line crosses two lines. And that's all you have to do to be a transversal. Let's make two of these lines parallel. And let's give these angles some numbers to deal with. In the problem, you're given the measure of one line, one angle, right? There was an exterior angle, and then another angle. You were given those two measures, or the measures of two other angles that were something like that. And then you were asked, what are the measures of this angle and this angle? And then you were asked, is line C parallel to line D? What do I know? What's that? Why? If you say vertical angles are congruent when the lines are parallel. Is that a good answer? Yes. No. no. Okay. Is that a good answer? No. no. Look, there are a lot of people who just take all the words and put them all down on paper, figuring, well, he'll he'll look and he'll see the ones that he likes and he'll keep those. If you put those, you got, it, you got it wrong. Vertical angles are always congruent. Now, did you have to write always? No. But if you start making conditions, then it means you really don't know what you're talking about. So these two angles are congruent. Yeah. What about them? This... I want to know. I want to know six, right? So how am I going to find it out? Which? Why? Angle two and angle six are corresponding angles created by a transversal crossing parallel lines, so they are congruent. How do we figure out whether or not C and D? are parallel. No? I don't know. Need one of these. Do I have any of these going on here? Where I have some situation here with some angles? Yes. yes. Quinn, what do I got? The first one, two and six. Those are congruent, right? They're congruent yeah. corresponding angles, but I already know that, and I already know these lines are parallel. What do I want to show? I want to show that these lines are parallel right here. What does? Right. And as it turned out, the measure of angle 6 plus the measure of angle 13 equals 180 degrees, and if same side interior angles are supplementary, then the lines are parallel. That'd be this one right here, right? I know you can't draw the drawings, you gotta use the words. You gotta be able to write the sentence. If same side interior angles are supplementary, then the lines are parallel. Does it have to be exactly those words? No. Do you have to write something that shows me that you know what you're talking about? Yes. That's it. When I said this is actually the quintessential parallel line standard question, take a look. Right? Got a part here where you have to know that these two angles are congruent and it has nothing to do with parallel lines. You have to be able to show me that you know that these two angles are congruent 
because these lines are parallel. And then you have to show me that you understand the converses to pick out that, hey, doesn't that mean that these lines are parallel because these are supplementary? You can do that. You get it. That's it. That's what you need to know to pass the parallel line standard.